In WordWiz Series 3, the student will complete 12 booklets, which consist of a structured vocabulary program that advances and strengthens basic language skills. This series focuses on 144 words and their definitions, scrambled sentences, synonyms and antonyms, and word searches and other puzzles. In WordWiz 3H, the student will complete four pages per day and must make 18 mistakes or less, including spelling, in order to pass. On the first two pages of this booklet, you will find a list of this booklet's definitions. It is important to read these every day you are working in this booklet. Let's read some together. Aloft, far above ground or high up. Part of speech is adverb since aloft can modify a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. Some words will have two different definitions and two different parts of speech, like this one coast. The first definition of coast is land along the sea. The part of speech is noun since this definition makes coast a person, place, or thing. The second definition is to keep on moving after the driving power is cut off. Part of speech is verb since this definition makes coast an action word. Curious. Wanting very much to learn or know. Part of speech is adjective, since curious is a describing word. On this first exercise, the student will write the letter of the word that matches the given definition. First, read the definition. A scientist who practices the science that studies the motion, size, and makeup of the stars, planets, comets, and other things found in space. Our answer choices are fatal, current, badge, and astronomer. Since we know this is the definition for astronomer, we will circle the correct answer and write the letter on the line. On this activity, the student will circle the word in the puzzle. It can be spelled forwards, backwards, upwards, or downwards. Once you find it, cross it out on the bottom. For example, we found the word ache. So we circle the word and cross it out in the word bank. Here, the student will write each word five times and then write each definition once. Then, write a sentence using the word and showing its meaning without just restating the definition. An example of a good sentence is, My dad always loved outer space, so he went to college to become an astronomer. On this exercise, the student will write the correct word for each definition. Cross out words as they are used. Let's do number one for example a flow of water or air in a certain direction. Since we know this is the correct definition for current, we will cross out current and neatly write it on the line. Notice the two in parentheses next to the word current. This indicates this word will be used twice. Here, the student will replace the highlighted word or words with a vocabulary word and name the part of speech. Let's do number one together. The passengers went into the airplane and waited for the crew to prepare for takeoff. We know the correct word is aboard and that it is an adverb since aboard modifies the verb went. On this activity, the student will fill in the crossword puzzle by writing the word that matches the number definition. Let's do number five together as an example. Underneath the down column, number five says, a chart or table that shows the months, weeks, and days of the year. Since we know this is the definition for calendar, we will find five down and neatly write calendar. This exercise will focus on synonyms, which are words that mean the same thing. Let's do number one for example, ache. So we find the synonym for ache, which is hurt or pain, and neatly write the letter on the provided space. Next, we will practice antonyms, which are words that have opposite meanings. Let's do number 13, for example. We need to find the matching antonym for hungry. So we think of which word or phrase is the opposite meaning of hungry, which is full or satisfied. So we neatly write the correct letter in the provided space. On this page, the student will write the words in parentheses into the correct space in each sentence. It helps to cross out each word as it is used. Dad's back ached from lifting the heavy box, so he put a heating pad on it. Here, the student will write the correct word based on the number definition. Words will wrap around going across, up, down, and backwards. Start with number one. 
a chart or table that shows the months, weeks, and days of the year. Since we know this is the definition for calendar, we will neatly write calendar where the number one is located on the puzzle. On this exercise, the student will unscramble the words to form a complete sentence. Remember to capitalize the first word in each sentence and to use punctuation at the end. Cross out words as they are used. We keep track of current events. Do not forget to use correct punctuation. Here, the student will write the correct word in each blank. Cross out each word after it is used. Let's do number one together. And blank studies the stars, comets, planets, and other things found in space. Since we know astronomer best fits here, we will look at the word bank, cross out astronomer, and neatly write it on the provided line. On this activity, the student will solve the puzzle by finding the correct spot for each word listed. It is best to start with the longest words and cross out each word as it is used. Let's do the word current. We see that this is the only word that has seven letters. So we will find which spot in the puzzle that has seven spaces and then neatly write current in the spaces provided. Here, the student will write the correct word for each blank. Cross out words as they are used. Let's do number one. The Coast Guard went blank the abandoned ship. Since we know a board fits best here, we will write the word neatly in the blank. On this last activity, the student will write a short story of at least three sentences using the words given. Circle the vocabulary word when it is used. The sentences must make sense together. Here is an example of a good short story. When my grandfather was younger, he was an astronomer. He told me a story about how he once gazed through a telescope and saw a giant crater on the moon. Grandpa Frank has many great stories to tell. For any further questions or explanations, please contact your Gideon instructor.